Hi everyone, I have one more Halloween decorating video that I want to share with you guys before my Halloween home tour on Monday. And the picture that you're looking at, I bought a couple years ago at Michael's. And this reminds me of the old vintage cat. And I think he is so cute and charming. And I'm also going to be decorating with that awesome headless horseman piece that I shared in a short video over the weekend. So here's just an overview of my cat picture. And this is the stand that I'll be decorating today. I'll be decorating both the top and the bottom of my stand. Want to see what I'm up to when I'm not on YouTube? You can now follow me on Instagram. Please join my friends and I on Monday, October the 25th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Halloween home tour collaboration. It's going to be wicked good. I'll be using three of my creepy cloth on this stand. I'll be using three different colors, a lighter gray, a darker gray, and a beige colored one. And I'm also going to have to have some height. So I'm going to add a old candle holder that I found at Goodwill. And this is really cute. I actually have a red one and I have a purple one. And I'm pretty sure that they were probably intended for Halloween but this is going to work perfect as a riser. And as you can see, I draped it down longer on the one side because I thought that would give it a more eerie appearance. So you don't have to do this. I just really liked the look of it. And I just really thought it just kind of gave it a goth kind of feel. And here's a really good view of all three of my different colored cloths. My creepy trees I found at Target Dollar Spot last year, and I believe I paid $5 each for these. And they're glittery, and they also have a cute little spider on the pot. And as you can see, one is higher than the other. That candle holder worked as a perfect riser. And here we go. Here is my headless horseman. I was so happy to find this. I've been looking all season for this guy. Couldn't believe it whenever I found it at TJ Maxx over the weekend. And they also had a bigger one that was probably about two, two and a half times the size of this one. And this was a great price, 30 bucks. I definitely had to have it. It's like I knew I was buying it as soon as I saw it. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I found it. It's like one, time for me something works out whenever I'm looking for something and I want to buy it. I love how my horseman looks just with these two trees. I don't think I need to add anything else to the top of this table. So I didn't want to take my shelf down. I wanted it to be able to tie in with the rest of my decorating. So all I'm going to do is take a smaller piece that I cut from one of my creepy cloth and I'm just going to lay it over top of my shelf and just let it dangle a little bit. And then I'm going to add this creepy little copper kettle jack-o-lantern that I've had for a very long time. And I'm just going to add one of these jack-o-lantern lights to it. And by using the jack-o'-lantern, it's going to tie in perfectly because the headless horseman's head is a jack-o'-lantern. So perfect. I think I found this spider web doily a long time ago at the Yankee Candle. And this is really nice sized and it's going to probably hang down just a little bit, but that's okay because it's just going to add to the creepiness. And I'm also going to be using, this is the purple candle holder. So I'm also going to be using this as a riser. 
And here we go. Because the Headless Horseman likes his heads, I'm going to be using two of my creepy doll heads. Oh my gosh, do you see that? It's like, it's coming to life. It's creepy. And also I'm going to be using this little stack of books with the skeleton that I found recently at the Dollar General for $4. And I just think that these are so cute to decorate with. They're so fun. And you can just create a cute little vignette with these little items. And here's my other creepy doll head. So these little items are going to look perfect underneath my stand. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on Monday for a lot of spooky fun.